faces. A little delayed whip and chat today. Honestly, in my game Back for Blood, it was double supply points weekend, and I ended up playing it for two and a half hours instead of recording my whip and chat. Sorry, not sorry. I went to go get the mail today, and there's a package that said this. I don't know who it's from. I have no idea, but it says it twice on the box. So thank you to whoever sent me that. Um, I don't know if, so it just says Bev, and usually I'll like include my last name if someone wants to send me something. So I don't know what it is necessarily. And I'm excited because I'll save it for Tuesday and I'll show you guys. Let me just take my sweater off. I'm stripping, I'm stripping. I am out of breath because I just went to go check the mail and I guess that is how I roll when I'm out of breath. So I'm going to be doing a whip and chat today. That just stands for work in progress and chat. So pull out whatever you're working on and let us get started. Let me make sure. 37. Okay. No, I'm using the wrong color. Already I feel a diamond painting. I put down the wrong color. I was like so confident that I put down the right color, but no, I didn't. I was like, this looks weird. How has your week been, guys? I am trying to catch up on everyone's videos or their latest videos. I'm out of breath. I have been working on Harajuku Girl from Mary's Diamonds, and I decided that this one I'm going to hang behind where I go live so you guys can see it during my live, during my lives. Um... I have really exciting news on Tuesday, speaking of live, on Tuesday, Chad, the Chad, if you guys didn't know the Chad from, he sometimes comes to my live and stuff, the Chad is going to be joining me live on Tuesday, and it'll be really fun because I gave him a Dreamer's Design canvas, and he's going to learn how to diamond paint. Isn't that fun, guys? I found, like... Stereotypically, I found my most masculine, my most masculine diamond painting, and it was just like one of those, uh, what is it, free with shipping kits from Dreamer Designs, and it's a round canvas. So I dropped that off to him yesterday, and he was like, he was like, I was like, don't open it until Tuesday, and he was like, okay, and he said he'll try and maybe have two camera setups, one on his face and then one one pointing at the canvas so we can see what he's doing, but we'll see what he ends up setting up. And I'm very excited. I think it'll be fun. He's never diamond painted, but in his office he had like this big Lego thing. So I'm like, okay, well he did Lego. So he likes, he doesn't mind doing like tedious intricate things so I'm like maybe he will like diamond painting what do you guys think do you think the Chad will like diamond painting um oh I just oh okay I need to like catch my breath and like sort myself out apparently I should have done that before I started filming my whip and chat but you guys can listen to me breathe heavily yeah yeah on I believe it's Wednesday or Thursday Clayton is going to be back. I believe, I don't know which day it is though. He said the 16th, but I think the 16th is his travel day. So I don't know when he'll be leaving exactly, but I'm very excited. I don't for a car update for him. So if you're new here, Clayton bought a new car in December, drove it to work. He works in the mountains in another province or the province over in British Columbia. And he drove it to work, parked it for the night at the hotel, and someone backed into it and ripped, like, the front of his car off. Like, they, they must have hit it really hard because it wasn't even drivable. And so he had to get it towed to a body shop in the next town over, and he's been waiting since December for these parts to come in so they can fix his car. And it's still, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. I'm, I'm so frustrated for him, honestly, because he just got the car and then someone freaking bumps in, backs into his car. 
I was so sad. He was so stoked on getting his car too. So I don't know how long it's going to take or if they got the parts in even. I'm hoping that it'll be ready by the time he's ready to come home because then he can just take his car home instead of like asking for the work truck. <sighs> just like what a gong show. What a gong show. What else? Um, Yeah. And Valentine's Day is on Monday. But honestly, like, yes, it is another hallmark holiday as people would say like it's just a materialistic thing you don't actually have to celebrate valentine's day and oh did you know in japan there's valentine's day where the girl gives the guy chocolate and then there's a white day in i think either march or february um there's a day called white day where the girl where the guy gives the girl chocolate I, I was like, that's pretty fair. <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind getting chocolate. I bought myself some chocolate muffins, though. So that is going to be my Valentine's Day present to myself, eating chocolate muffins. Uh, I had one today. It was really good. It was chocolate banana. So freaking good. Muffins? I don't think muffins are very good for you, but that's okay. We can pretend that they're good for us, right? Let me make sure it's still recording. Okay, it is still recording. So... Um, yeah, so yesterday I just stopped by Chad's office to drop off that Dreamer Designs kit, and then after I went and got Carl's Jr., and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Literally, I work out because I would like to lose weight and get healthier, but I still eat like shit, and I'm like, if I were to eat better, I would probably notice, like, definite changes in my body, but it's been really slow because I eat like crap, so... I really need to clean up my eating and I don't want to be one of those people who talks about like I'm in a diet and nah, nah, nah. but yeah boot camp is fun there was a new teach instructor today and she was wearing a hoodie that said support blue collar and I was like oh is that one of those hoodies that um from troll company or whatever she's like yeah and then I was trying to say how do you find the quality but literally I couldn't think of the word quality so I was like how do you find the the and then I could feel like everyone just staring at me waiting for me to finish my sentence and I was like the uh the stuff <laughs> you know I was like the quality finally and I was just kind of embarrassed but whatever the Amazon store there's an Amazon return store right next to where I do boot camp and they're moving. I'm so sad about it, actually. I'm really sad because I like going there on Wednesdays when it was $3 and getting stuff for really cheap. But whatever, I guess. I was just there actually, yeah, this week on Tuesday I was there and I got a cat treat thing where it's like a little, I think it's a circle. No, it's a square, and you hide cat treats in it, and then there's slidable plastic drawer things or plastic slide things, and then your cat has to slide around, like, it's a, kind of like a puzzle for a cat. It's meant for a dog, but I bought it for my cats, and it, it was only $3, and then I also got, what else did I get? Oh, I got a creepy kawaii coloring book. I've seen them on Amazon before, and I've seen people do them on Instagram. So I was really happy that I got it. It was only $3. <sighs> the drills on this, this is a square from Mary's Diamonds Harajuku Girl. Um, the drills on it are actually okay. And I just say they're okay because there are some popping drills, but nothing that like I want to quit working on. And Oraloa actually is going to refund me for Time to Witch because it was a version one square kit. And I guess their version two has improved immensely for squares. So my Hannah Lynn that I got from them, uh, that is a version two. So I'm going to do, the, and it's square. So I'm going to do that to test out the new squares and I'll let you guys know. They also are sending me uh, as an ambassador for Christmas. They were like, oh, we'll send you a canvas. All ambassadors will get a free canvas. And I was like, oh, I really want this Elena Dudina, Dudina, Dudina canvas. And I was like, uh, can I get that one? But it was on pre-order and it wasn't going to be out for a while. But I'm like, okay, that's okay. I'll just wait. So it's back in stock now, I guess. And they sent it to me. I haven't received it yet, but I'm very excited because it's something that like, it looks like something that I wouldn't do. 
So I'm very excited to try it. It's kind of like a portrait. It is, it's not kind of like, it is a portrait of this woman in red or something like that. Well, it's called roses or something. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. And today I received my second Heaven and Earth canvas, Heaven and Earth Designs canvas. I got a crown jewel canvas from them and the drills are coming from Jaded Gem Shop for it. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna wait till I get the drills from Jaded Gem Shop to unbox it though on my channel just so everything is like in one video. Like here are my drills, here's the canvas. If you've never ordered from Heaven and Earth Designs, they have some really cute uh, crown jewel canvases and crown jewel canvases just mean like you can order the canvas for the diamond painting but you have to order the drill separately and I highly recommend ordering drills from Jada Gem Shop. It's jadedgemshop.com and she's Jadakins here on, she has a channel on YouTube, she's Jadakins or Jade the Tailor, something like that. Anyways, if I remember I'll try and put her link down below and if I forget just comment and let me know that you want the link and I'll give it to you or I'll update the description box if I forget and what else did I get this week oh I did buy one get one 50% off with diamond art club I got two en Enya's, Enya, Enya's Guer Guerrero's um canvases and I'm very excited for those and then my friend who gave me a $200 gift card to Die Moon Shop before uh, asked me if I wanted to revamp her website and turn her website into one page because all of her pages are like separate so she wants to do something more simple so I was like yeah I'll do it and she's like okay she's like I can actually pay you money and I was like no like get me a Die Moon Shop gift card so I'm going to be asking her or she's going to get me a Die Moon Shop gift card once I'm done her website so I'm very excited I started building my wish list again and there are some some things that I want to get uh the the limit for the splurge cards or the blue moon cards whatever they're called uh is two hundred dollars and i'm i think i'm gonna message them because i know that she's gonna pay me buy me more than two hundred dollars in gift cards so i'm gonna message them and see if she can if she's able to like give a custom amount or if that's even possible but yeah that would be nice to have in so i can just place one big order instead of two orders not that it really matters but like already a quarter of that of $200 is going towards shipping so or like I guess less than a quarter whatever I can't do math guys but I'm very excited for that and I'm excited for my live on Tuesday I think it will be really fun if you didn't know I go live every Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and the Chad will be joining me he's very He's like, he wears a business suit, but he's like not the typical businessman. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, he's a lot of fun. So, yeah. Um, what else? I used to work at a competing firm. Like, he does commercial real estate, and I used to work at a competing firm, like, for his firm. And I was, and I never really talked to him until after because I took them on as a client, a training client. And, oh, yeah, I think... I might have a new client. I'm just waiting for them. It's a construction company. I'm just waiting for them to sign back my proposal. I had a good call with them, but they still haven't signed back their proposal. So I don't know what's taking them so long. If they don't send it by Tuesday, I'm going to have to send them a follow-up note. And oh yeah, let's, let's open this while you guys are here. I ordered a sticker album from, where was it from? Holly Lynn Co. and it's a Canadian company. So I ordered a sticker album because I do collect planner stickers. So let's open it. I'm not gonna like dedicate a video to opening this. And I do, haven't ordered from enough businesses, from like small businesses to do a dedicated video for a small business haul. So let's just open it now. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I can already see it. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yay, I'm so excited. Aw, and it says art print, so you can get, you can customize what the, the spine says. That's so cute. I love it. It's so pretty. I love, like, the, 
the it kind of looks like torn paper but like watercolory and like there's glitter and this is holographic it's so pretty okay I'm very excited about that and let's see if there's anything else in here and then she sent a thank you with some samples or did I order these no I ordered these more stickers that I got oh my goodness YouTube stickers for my planner phone call sleep ones a flat lay of a computer this girl sleeping at her desk this girl who's green like a zombie working and drinking coffee and then these I don't know if I ordered these maybe these are really pretty though and then Instagram stickers. So those are for my planner. I do use a passion planner medium. Oh, and here's some freebies Here are some freebies that she sent so there's some foiled Foiled stickers as well. Those are really nice very shiny and then oh a little heart sticker and then Holly Linco, here's her information. If you are interested in getting stickers from her, she is based in Canada, which is awesome. And right now is a Made in Canada collaboration sale from February 11th to 13th. So each, there's like 40 different shops and each shop is offering a certain percentage off of their store. So you just, uh, the code is maple syrup. So you go to this website, um, madeincanadacollab.ca you go to that website it will say it will give links to all of the shops how much percentage they have off and then you just use the code maple syrup at checkout on those shops this is really cute too and it even has a little warmer oh uh, okay i really like these but yeah so that's exciting i was looking at the at the shops that are participating oh this is so nice and she spelled my name right Collect five hearts from purchases to receive a free foil sheet with your next purchase. Aw. Uh, own who you are. That's really cute. Okay. So that is my order. I was looking at the shops wanting to do a purchase. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to because literally I spent so much last when they had the black, or was it Boxing Day? Yeah, Boxing Day made in Canada collab sale. I spent so much money. Oh, and look, it says, please do not bend. That's such a cute sticker. I wonder if I can put tape. No, I can't take it off. Anyways, so that's my sticker thing. And we won't open that other package until my live. Better not be a dick. If it is a dick, I'm going to die and cry. Um, right, I was doing this. Okay. What else is new? What else is new? Oh, I have, I'm going to be on a podcast for my college that I went to. They're doing a careers, they have a careers podcast and they asked to interview me. So I'm going to be on that podcast and then I'm going to be doing a speaking thing, like an online uh, speaking engagement for teachers, I think across the United States. If you can hear my cat, I don't know what he's whining about. But I think, I think it's teachers across the United States to update them on what careers are in digital marketing. So I think that will be really fun. And I'll get to like meet some cool people, some cool teachers. And it's weird to think like people my age are teachers. And it's just, I don't know why, but it's just weird to think like I could have been a teacher. But I just remember being in school and like not realizing that teachers were real people. <laughs> I don't know. I, for some reason, like it, it didn't connect. And now I'm like, I wish, uh, Lindsay was talking about this. Emeralds and Fairy Lights was talking about this in her whip and chat, how her art teacher wasn't very nice and thought that she didn't try hard enough when it came to, um, when it came to art. And I was like, oh, you should find that teacher now on Facebook and freaking ask her about it. And be like, why did you think I was not trying? <laughs> she probably wouldn't remember, but it'd be funny. And I was like, I should find my old teachers on Facebook and be like, hey, why were you such a bitch in school? <laughs> 
if you were miserable being a teacher, why didn't you just quit and find a new job? Because there are some teachers that are freaking miserable. And, but you forget, like, I forgot when I was, well, I didn't think of it when I was young that, like, hey, teachers are people, maybe they're having a bad day. So, but for some teachers, it's like, are you having a bad life? Like, how are you this miserable all the time? So, yeah. I don't remember my teacher's names, though, so it's not like I can find them on Facebook. Funny story. One of my friends used to work at a rub and tug, like a massage parlor. She was the receptionist, and she saw one of our teachers from high school. He was a client there, and then he, she was like, I don't know if he recognized me or not, but it was really awkward. And I was like, that's so funny, like a high school teacher going to get a massage with a happy ending I thought that was hilarious that she saw him there and he was like a teacher that I really liked too and like I don't know he was cool but yeah I thought that was hilarious <laughs> and then oh off topic well on topic but like another teacher apparently he's friends with Ryan Reynolds um and like Ryan Reynolds he'd go visit Ryan Reynolds or something like that and they're friends anyway so there was this he was like a younger teacher when I was in high school and then he got transferred after I was done high school he moved to a different school in Edmonton and then he got caught sleeping with two of his students and I was like yeah I could totally see that teacher doing that <laughs> honestly honestly I think that's so weird like why would you sleep with your teacher? But I think that the age of consent in in Edmonton or Canada is 16. So, I mean, if he was teaching high school students, like, it doesn't make it, like, ideal or right. But, yeah, I just thought that was really, like, weird and, like, gross. Because, like, he wasn't super cute or anything. I think it's just, like, there's no other teachers that are young, so the girls were probably like, oh, I'll just sleep with him because he's kind of good looking, but he's not really good looking. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyways, the symbol that I'm doing right now looks like a nipple, side boob, with a weird nipple on the side. Um... I got, I had a headache yesterday, and I think it's because I didn't drink enough water, because literally I ran out of bubbly, and bubbly, like, I drink from my hydro jug, but if my hydro jug is empty, I won't drink water, because I'm too lazy to refill it, so that's why I got such a huge, like, a hydro jug is a 73 ounce water bottle, I got it because I know myself, and I know that I'm bad at refilling water bottles, so... But it was empty on Wednesday, and I didn't have any bubbly. And bubbly is, like, the only other way that I'll drink water and and liquids in general and hydrate myself. But I didn't have any bubbly. And so I think I was, like, I had a dehydration headache yesterday. And so I didn't go to boot camp. I feel kind of bad for not going, but it was, like, it's okay. Like, don't feel bad. Maybe I'm just telling myself not to feel bad, but yeah. Um, okay, let's see, where are we? But my dad, my dad just came by before I started filming this, and he dropped off bubbly from Costco, so I got a flat of bubbly. That will last me a few, it would technically last me like a week or two, but then Clayton's coming home next week, and he loves bubbly, so it probably won't last us very long, but it'll be good to have some bubbly for him when he is home and then my dad also got me a taco kit from Costco I don't know if you guys have this at your Costco but it comes with everything you need even like the beef and everything and it's just like pre-made but you make your own taco it's, it's a pre-made taco kit I really like them so that's I might have that for dinner or actually no I'm gonna have butter chicken tonight for dinner I bought frozen butter chicken with rice and I also bought naan bread that you just warm up at home and oh, it's so good I love naan sorry I called it naan bread and my friend who's East Indian was like it's just naan okay it's not naan bread you just call it naan and I was like okay sorry <laughs> so naan I love naan not naan bread just naan um I'm excited to have that. Yeah, maybe I'll do that while this video is processing after. And I'm going to be on Abigail's live, Abigail Marie, or Diamonds and Floss with Abigail. 
I'm going to be live on her channel on March 4th. I don't know why, but she asked me, she's like, what are you doing March 4th? And I was like, probably nothing. And she was like, you want to go live with me? I was like, sure. And then she was asking me all these questions. And I think, I think she's doing something for my birthday, like ordering me something. Um, my birthday is March 7th. So I'm like, like March 4th, I think is the Friday before my birthday. So that would make sense why she wants me on her live that day but I'm, I'm kind of nervous kind of excited um I don't know what she has up her sleeve and I was like what are you planning and she was like nothing nothing at all and so I was like okay so we'll see what she has up her sleeve like I said um let's see what else do I have to talk about um uh, not a whole lot happens in my life sure yeah oh yeah my friend nikki is gonna go live with me soon i don't know when but she will and you guys will get to meet her i've known her since high school and no other plans really oh chris creative chris i have to ask him to go live with me he said he would i just have to figure out when i like i like going live alone because i feel like sometimes there's pressure to like interact with that person and and engage with them and keep them engaged because I always feel like I would be a bad host if I didn't ask them questions or like but I'm always like well, I don't know what to ask them so maybe we can play a game or something I don't know but then I'm like that's kind of lame playing a game in your live which I'm not hating on people who do but I'm just like I don't freaking know I don't know I just don't want it to be awkward you know and I haven't talked to Chris that often so I'm like scared that it'll be awkward if Chris is on my channel, but he's so lovely. He's a gentleman. I think they call him Gentleman Chris. Uh, that's like his nickname or Chris with the good hair, apparently. So I'm excited. I just have to figure it out. And I'm like, I just don't want it to be awkward. You ever get that way? Like I have social anxiety and I'm on medication for it. Um, but I always just feel like things will be awkward and Clayton's always like it's only awkward if you make it awkward but then I make it awkward by thinking that it's awkward or I'll say I'll literally say awkward and yeah I was going through uh so my google drive is full for like my old drive my old drive account so I had to go through it and delete stuff so that I could actually get because I still get emails to that old email and it still backs it it also backs up the images from my phone and stuff like that because I'm an Android user so I had to go through and delete stuff so I was looking at everything and I found hey shh, don't tell anyone I found this folder <laughs> I found this folder from like 2018 2019 of like when I was single and I guess I dumped I don't remember I kind of remember doing this but I don't remember like all the details but I remember I put all of oh my god you guys are gonna laugh at me I put all of the nudes and like gross photos that I received from dudes into this folder and I found the folder and I was like oh my god so I was looking I was clicking through it really quickly because I'm like, okay, well, do I want to delete this folder? Like, I'm pretty much, like, married to Clayton now. We're not married, but, like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, do I need these pictures? But I still kept them. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I still kept them. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, though. So, yeah, I found that folder. <laughs> Maybe I can blackmail people with that folder now. Just kidding, I won't. But I just thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it just like, I don't know. It was really funny. Because there's pictures in there that are really gross. And it was like from when I was single. So I was like on Tinder and Plenty of Fish and stuff like that. Never. Okay, so never if you're single and you're a girl... Or you identify as a woman never find a partner on plenty of fish like a male partner on plenty of fish because because i feel like there's something wrong with people on plenty of fish and maybe like there is probably something wrong with me and that's why i was on plenty of fish but like i just think that the like the 
the quality <laughs> the quality of people on plenty of fish is questionable because so i met my ex on plenty of fish and he cheated on me and was like a really insecure douchebag and then um my friend my friend met her ex on there too and he was like really weird and there's another person I met on Plenty of Fish, too. I don't remember. But anyways, don't don't find your husband on Plenty of Fish. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that there's something wrong with everyone. But I feel like if you're on Plenty of Fish, there's something extra wrong with you. And I'm sure there was something wrong with me. And that's why I was on Plenty of Fish. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But yeah, so there's that. I actually really like Tinder. Like, when I was single, I really liked the idea of Tinder and Bumble. Actually, when me and Clayton first... Uh, so, me and Clayton went to high school together. And he dated one of my best friends, my old best friend. We weren't really, like, friends when they were dating because it was, like, after high school, I think. But anyways, um, so we reconnected on Bumble because I saw him on Bumble. And I, so, we matched and I messaged him. And I was like, I don't remember what I said, but I think I was like, I remember you or something like that. And then that's how we started talking again because it was because of Bumble. So I really like Bumble. I haven't been on Bumble Friends, but one of my friends who moves around a lot uh, has used Bumble Friends. And she said she's found like some really cool girls to be friends with on it. So that's kind of neat. But yeah, I'm, I'm like too awkward to like make friends on purpose that type of thing I think I'm too much of a loner to want to make friends yeah let's just leave it at that oh this is really cute it's like a little heart on her face is it in her face or on her hair I don't know but that's really cute I think it's a heart clip in her hair how long have I been chatting for 31 minutes I need to upload this video or process this video and then I'm going to go to Abigail's live so this is my weekend schedule guys if you want to stalk me I'm gonna be on Abigail's live um Abigail's live at six mountain standard time I believe she goes live is it six yeah I think she goes live at six and then Mrs. Crochet and Coffee is live when is she live at at eight no yeah, at 8. And then Ruby Q is going live after, around 9.45. And then tomorrow, Mindy's live at a certain time, like 5 or something like that, 4.30. I don't know. When is Mindy live? I try and go to Mindy's live, but I sometimes I forget or I don't make it. Um, but yeah, so Mindy's gonna be live, and then Grace is gonna be live, and then hopefully, last week Jeremy didn't do a live, so hopefully he'll be live. He usually goes live at 9. And then on Mon on Sunday, I guess Stacy's Ritzy DP Crafts. I th Stacy, I don't know if you're watching this, but if that's not your name on YouTube, sorry. It's like Stacy, Stacy Ritzy crafts or something like that um she's going to be taking Shay's place at 3 p.m mountain standard time so she'll be live in Shay's place because Shay is going to be at the Texas retreat or just coming home from it so that'll be fun to watch Stacy um I don't know if it's her first ever live I don't know but I think it'll be really fun and I don't know, you guys should come and support Stacy. If I remember, I probably won't remember. But if I do, I'll put a link in the description box below. I'm very hungry, you guys. And I'm thirsty. Actually, do I have my hydro jug here? No, my hydro jug is in the kitchen. It's so far away. My house isn't that big. It's not actually that far away. Um, I was eating... A, cho a candy bracelet and this is what's left of the candy bracelet from yesterday I'm so disgusting and I really need to this weekend hopefully I can package up the stuff that I have like I have I have five packages that I want to send out and I 
think everything has arrived for them. I would like to get more Coffee Crisp and Smarties because these are like international packages. And I know that US people, my American friends do like Coffee Crisp because it's only available in Canada. So I would like to go out and get more chocolate to put in their packages. And then hopefully next week I can send them out. I'm just so behind. And I asked Clayton for, I was thinking you might have, if you're part, like if you have been here for a while and watched my whipping chats, I was thinking about getting a needle or a knitting machine. And so I asked Clayton for the knitting machine for my birthday. Hopefully he said he wrote it down. So I was like, okay, <laughs> if you wrote it down, thank you. Um, so hopefully I get that for my birthday. I'm very excited about it because I want to make blankets and what else my parents will probably just give me money my birthday is not until march 7th but yeah i'm very excited for my birthday i'm always excited for my birthday even if i don't get presents on my birthday i'm i always still get really excited for my birthday i don't know why i don't like getting older but it's something that i still get excited about and i don't i don't know whatever don't judge me guys it's my pre-birthday month right now so yeah get it together get it together. You should know that. Um, there's like icky stuff here in my pen. It looks like putty. It's like dried up putty in the crevice of my pen. I don't know. You guys probably don't want to see that. That's gross. Sorry. I don't know why I'm doing that on camera. But yeah, I love this pen. It's from Enablers Outpost. If you're wondering, isn't it so beautiful? It's called Rachel's Galaxy Pen. I love Enablers Outpost. Okay, anyways, I'm going to stop talking because I'm just talking about nothing now. So if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, what? Why haven't you subscribed yet? What, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. I'd love it. And comment down below and let me know what you're going to be doing this weekend or if you're going to be in anyone's lives or whose lives on the weekend you like going to. And I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to join me on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time because the Chad will be live and I'll be showing him how to diamond paint the best that I can virtually. Okay, bye guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.